Hey everyone, today I'm going to try something slightly different. I'm not going to do a tutorial, I'm going to do a code base tour. And I think for people who are not extreme beginners, I think this will be more relevant because it just cuts straight to the point of how I implement some features. So here I have uh, Amplibox, which is a demo for essentially self-hosted file upload uh, uh, with S3 and Amplify Storage. And I've implemented a bunch of features. Uh, it's also using Svelte and Tailwind, which is why it looks any good at all. Uh, it's not not me. It's just Tailwind. And uh, and yeah, so so let's let's just walk through the features, and then I can talk a little bit about how they were implemented. And I obviously welcome questions. So all right, so upload file and progress bar. So here we're we're just gonna try to pick a big file. So I'm I'm gonna just gonna delete this first. And you can see one of the first features is just deleting and toasting, which is nice. Uh, let's also upload it then. And let's pick the 10 megabyte file over here. Uh, and then I chose a separate upload. Like I could have triggered that upload right away, but I chose a, a separate click just in case you change your mind. And I just wanted to kind of show off this, this progress bar as well. Uh, and that's something that you kind of get from the Amplify Storage uh, feature. Um, and so while that's going, let's actually just dive into the code. So the top level file is app. Uh, but that's just like the, the shell with like the header and footer. Um, and, the, and the real code is inside of main. So that's where we're going to spend the majority of our time. And you can see you can see how we've already uploaded that file. Um, and essentially what that does, so it says choose file to upload. Uh, it's got an input with a file. And then it's got uh, a form submission with an on submit function. Uh, that, and that on submit function basically just calls, basically just calls storage.put, which is the... Amplify Storage API for, for doing that. Uh, and I make sure to store it at the current folder path that I'm at. So I'm here I'm at the root, but if I was under uh, one of these folders, uh, then I would just upload into that folder. And I and here you can see like I have a progress callback. Uh, and, and that's also a an, an Amplify API. So let me pull up the docs over here. And that's that's documented inside of the Amplify docs. And this is pretty good. Uh, and, and it's really nice to do as well because I don't have to set state or anything i just declared a progress percent thing and if i if i have a progress percent going on then i uh, display it inside of a html5 progress thing down here and that's it i could probably style it a bit more nicely but uh, i honestly i just ran out of steam but um, you know you, you get the picture of how to uh, how to switch between uploading and and uh and showing a progress bar uh, so i already showed you deleting files and i showed you toasting as well um, I think toasting is kind of a standard thing in, in most apps. Uh, I, I pretty much make it a requirement. So uh, even though it's got nothing to do with AWS, uh, I make sure to have toasts in my app. Uh, and here I just have a, uh, a dumb sort of toast component that I wrote myself. You know, it can, it's, it's capable of displaying, displaying errors and success. That's about it. <laughs> and then I have a little fire toast uh, functionality over here uh, that works after every promise. So I think this is good enough, you know, like uh, if you have some other preferences or, or a library that you like to use, go ahead. But, you know, it's, it's nothing you can't write on your own. Let's look at other functions. So listing files. So this is already listing files. Like when I when I when I go to any any uh, folder, it just list uh, the files within that folder. Um, so I think that's that's a pretty straightforward uh, functionality. I can also delete files so I can just go ahead and delete this file um, and it basically just does that. I should probably, I could probably have like a weight indicator because sometimes it takes a while for the latency to, to, to resolve. Download files. Uh, so here I actually had a little bit of uh, <laughs> prevarication essentially. Uh, so this is what I settled on. So you click this and it switches to download and then it downloads in a nice experience. So I, I think I like this, I like this method a lot, but there's another uh, approach which is like the default approach, which is signed URLs where you just generate a link and then it clicks, it opens a new tab and it downloads that file or, or opens it up if it's a thing that a browser can display. Um, not as smooth and I, I, prefer, I kind of prefer this, so I, I stuck with this for the demo. Uh, and that is using the storage.get API, uh, which is all documented here. And the docs, you know, in the process of doing this, I've, I've improved the docs quite a bit. Uh, creating a new folder. Uh, this is an interesting one because there's no such thing as a folder in in S3, um, it's just like, you can put however many slashes you want. Um, and creating a folder essentially just creates a, a zero size, you know, thing with that path. 
So I can create a folder here. I'm going to say amplibox demo, um, and that would create the folder. Uh, and this would be completely empty, and I could uh, upload uh, a demo of the amplibox thing over here. Uh, and that would be fine. Yeah, so the way that I create folder is literally I pass undefined into the, uh, something with that path. Uh, and that's about it. It's a, it's a pretty simple, uh, straightforward function to, to implement. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, there's a bunch of other features that you could possibly implement as well, like uploading entire folders instead of single files or recursively deleting folders. Notice that I didn't implement a delete folder functionality here. Um, you can have private protected files. You know, I, there's, there's no authentication layer here, but you can theoretically have multiple different users and, and do that. But that would complicate my demo a lot. So I just wanted to focus this on uh, storage instead of just of, of off. Uh, and then I don't implement client side routing. So down in here, uh, it doesn't, there's no back button that I can just go. Um, and you know, that, that bothers, that does bother me a little bit. So yeah, give this a try. I put all the instructions here and hopefully they're good enough. Uh, if they're not, uh, just let me know in the issues.